I'm going to take you through the first part of panel data analysis. So, first of all, I've already opened Greta and I need to look for a data so that we can use for the analysis. For this introduction part, I will just do the plotting of panel data graphs and also we do the um, semi statistics and we also try a correlation matrix. Then in the next video, you will take it further. So without wasting much time, I will look for a data here. Let me just go to my data and then okay i'll try don't worry i have a lot of data here so i need to check them and see the one which is panel okay let's use the baltic country or okay let's use this one this one is also a data for panel look at my data here it shows the arrangement of how the panel should look like first you put the type which is the year the variables um this is gdp trade openness fdi population growth rate and inflation rate this is for sweden so you have to arrange it this way we start from the year so you can see sweden go up to 2021 and then Norway will continue starting from 1980 up to 2021, the same thing. So the same thing for all the countries you're going to deal with until you, you, you feel like the data you want is okay. So first of all, I'll close this one. Then I'll come to this side and load it into Greta. Just drop it to ask you the kind of data you want. So I'll just click on OK. And it is asking you, like I, I said, the kind of data you want. So you click on yes, and then you have to select panel. So once you select panel, click on forward. Also use this one, use index variable. So I'll click on this one, then forward. You know, we are using the groups are countries, not time. So we are using country and then the time index variable is um, the index variable we is, is having time here so you click on forward it annual data it's not on data it's annual data so i'll click here click on forward and then change the date i think it's 19 is it 1980 let me just cross check again so now i will not miss this type so 1980 that's correct 1980 then click on forward so it's it's telling you that um you have cross-sectional four cross-sectional units observe over 42 period 42 period is like 42 years and a cross-sectional means you have four different countries so you click on apply and then here it's giving you the data like one equals to Sweden, two equals to Norway, three equals to Finland, four equals to um, Denmark. So I'll close this one. Then I need to close the data because I don't need it anymore. So once we are here, I would like to first of all go to data here. You can see here, it gives you the data set information here. So if you want to check the information, you can just click on it. When I come to view, I can plot a graph graph for the panel. You can do it in the group form. So you can also see correlation metrics and then semi statistics. Let's see, click on this one and then I put GDP put trade openness fdi population and then last one is inflation i'll click on ok and then we need the main statistics so this is our statistics we had semi statistics we had so first like the same principle we used in the previous videos i will just highlight everything 
and then copy it in this form come to my web and then click on paste so it has been pasted so let's go here and add all bodies now you can see the table looks great here so here trade openness the swellness we need to cross check again and then inflation so this is our semi statistics for a panel i can also delete this one because i need the header to be semi statistics only like this so this looks great this is the semi statistics then we also move to correlation metrics so let's go to view click on correlation metrics then we can also select all the variables together in this way click on it click on ok you have it here so you just have to select everything then copy and then go to your table go to the word and then paste it so now it has been pasted let's try and then add our bodies like this so at this point we need to check the square lens for openness and also here the same thing because we have it at different places and inflation inflation rate and also inflation rate so we are done with our collation metrics i need all only up to this point so i can edit it to this one so correlation metrics so this is the correlation metrics the next thing we would like to do is the plotting of graphs for the time series for the countries so first of all if i want to plot for this one for GDP, you go to view and then go to graphs. So you can also click on by using mod, um, graph specify vars. So you can also use multiple graph and you can also use. So I would like to select all the variables like this. Then paste it here so if you click on ok it should be able to generate your graph like this this is like all the countries together and then you plot one graph for them but if i want to see it in a different way i would just have to do them one after the other so if you need this one you can also copy this one so copy to clipboard you can do the same thing you have to copy or just color and then you come here to paste it so i have pasted the graph and if i want to make it big i can also make it big so i press enter no i don't need extra column here what i need is to make sure this one goes down okay so now it's down and if i want to make it big i'll make it big in this way as you can see I'm just trying to move them and you can see they look great here or if I want to put them separately I will just have to minimize this one first close this one first you put it on GDP and then you have to do it this way and then you go to panel plot or you can go to variable and then you click on panel plot so you have to select this single graph group over overlaid this is going to give you the a graph which shows all the countries individually but if you say if you click on single graph with a group mean like this let's see what happens it gives you the same graph we plotted earlier on but let's try the second option go to variable and go to plot so let's use the second one and see what happens 
you can see we can we have sweden it's showing you how the growth in the gdp it's it's been plotted look look at this you can see sweden is moving in term it's moving higher in terms of um gdp look because sweden has the green color and you can also beautify it if you want to beautify it you can also do that go to edit the same step like we did the last time and then you can click on full border apply and also you can go to the lines here i can i can change this one i want this but you need to change this so that it will make it look a little bit smaller so you go down then do it for the rest of the variables as well or the countries so click on lie and point and change this one to 0 0.5 so here to the same option this one change this one and go down and this place to you change it change this one and then change this one so once you're done click on apply and it has been applied click on ok you can see here once you do this just copy it copy to clipboard color so you come here and then you paste it and once you paste it this way you can just enlarge it so as you can see here this is gdp by group so i can close this one and the same principle apply for all the variables so you can also go to variable once you highlight this one click on panel plot the same step so you can also beautify it as we did and i hope you're going to try this thing at home as well so just click on edit click on full border apply and then the lines you can choose this and this one so it, it follows the same logic as we did for the first one and this one to the same logic please practice make a month perfect just try at home find your data and try at home or try at wherever you are so click on apply and okay now you can see here same principle so you just have to copy it copy to clipboard um this one just paste it just paste it so i'm just going to paste it and you can see it has been pasted so this is all about the correlation matrix semi statistics and panel protein here so in the next video we will talk about the unit roots in panel data analysis then we can continue with the next steps thank you very much for your time and i i really appreciate your time as well and see you in the next